Uh, dear Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank, first of all, uh, Professor Grigory Tinikov for his kind invitation to this Congress. My uh, presentation is below the interventions, patient and material selection. So, the critical limb ischemia is a clinical manifestation of an end-stage peripheral arterial obstructive disease. So in uh, CLI, blood flow is so inadequate that breast pain, ulceration, and or gangrene can occur, can occur. The prognosis for patients with critical limb ischemia at one year follow-up, as you see, 25% have uh, resolves critical limb ischemia. In 20% uh, uh, patients have ongoing critical limb ischemia. 30% are alive with amputation, and 25% are dead. <clears throat> what we have from task two uh, guidelines nowadays, the patient with critical limb ischemia require multidisciplinary care to avoid limb loss. Angioplasty as a short anterior or posterior tibial artery stenosis may be performed in conjunction with popliteal or femoral angioplasty. Use of this technique is usually not indicated in patients with intermittent claudication. There's increasing evidence to support a recommendation for angioplasty in patients with CLI and infrapopliteal artery occlusion where inline flow to the foot can be re-established and where there's medical comorbidity. In the case of infrapopliteal uh, angioplasty, technical success may approach 90% with the resultant clinical success of approximately 70% in patients with CLI <coughs> and cellish rates are uh, reported as being slightly, uh, slightly uh, higher. Predictors of successful outcome include a shorter length of occlusion and a lesser number of vessels treated. The complication rate can usually be treated by endovascular or surgical techniques, and a failed angioplasty does not preclude subsequent bypass. It remains controversial whether infarcopletial uh, angioplasty and stenting should be performed in patients with intermittent claudication for improvement of outflow and for an increased patency of proximal uh, um, arteries stent, uh, with stenting and bypass surgery. Regarding vascular territories of lower limbs, uh, you see how uh, the uh, muscular layer increases uh, in the uh, below the knee arteries, and many uh, experts say that uh, uh, the below the knee arteries have uh, a uh, an anatomy that look li looks like uh, a coronary anatomy. So many uh, coronary techniques could use in, uh, uh, could use in the, this uh, um, and artery angioplasty. So the Willis-like foot circle is uh, um, uh, this, the low leg vessels usually connect in the foot so that only one vessel is usually necessary to be open for foot salvage or survival. The first aim of uh, angioplasty in uh, CLI is to restore a direct flow to the foot circle. So you see the primary sites of involvement in CLI, aorta iliac arteries and 30% and 40-50%, tibial peroneal arteries 50-60% to 60%, and combined above the knee and uh, below the knee arteries in 68% of cases. The patency rate of bypass grafting in critical limb ischemia, severe limb ischemia, uh, you see at a five year, uh, year patency for femoral popliteal uh, below the knee is only um, 47%. <coughs> in, uh, um, from different trials uh, uh, performed uh, uh, with endovascular intervention in the uh, critical limb ischemia, you see the um, uh, uh, target vessel revascularization is different in, uh, at different follow-up uh, period, but the limb salvage uh, is uh, nearly the same. So the uh, um, CLI management, when uh, the uh, revascularization uh, uh, is uh, performed and in which patient, uh, for example, if the patient is not for revascularization, so we have to uh, give him maximum medical therapy, risk factor reduction, local wound care, antibiotics, uh, pain relief, and consider intermittent uh, pneumatic compression. So amputation is uh, um, performed usually in uh, uh, patients with dementia, dialysis, extensive tissue loss, and impaired ambulation. 
the reverse polarization, uh, when uh, um, we have to choose from surgery and uh, endovascular and uh, reverse polarization, when the endovascular reverse polarization is usually performed in older patients with more comorbidities, surgery in younger patients. Uh, in the so in summary, infrapopulitary obstructions could lead, to, uh, could lead to severe symptomatic patients with critical limb ischemia and with rather poor uh, category more than four. What's the problem with these patients? Few surgical candidates, no effective conservative treatment, treatment substantial discomfort, life quality impairment, and in this case, endovascular treatment is the fir first approach. So, and indications, as I told before, uh, in summaries uh, for pilotary interventions, endovascular interventions, critical limb ischemia, non healing ulcers. Documented growth and related codication is a completely different scenario compared to the direct food. So the goals of growth and angioplasty um, in critical limb ischemia is uh, relief of ischemic crest pain, wound healing, avoidance of amputation, mobilization, improvement of survival. Treatment strategies in diabetic food is uh, revascularization first in uh, uh, not infected ulcers. In, uh, and uh, dry gangrene, aggressive surgical debridement first is an infected food and wet gangrene. So the wound-related artery concept regarding angiosomes, acquiring direct flow based on the angiosome concept is important in healing of the lesion and limb salvage. So if you see here, there are a lot of uh, um, armamentarium of different uh, methods and, uh, of uh, revascularization uh, initiating from uh, bypass surgery and the vascular, uh, revascularization with different debulking system and materials nowadays developed. And uh, angiogenesis, of course, beyond medical therapy. Tools for below the interventions. We have a lot of tools uh, nowadays uh, uh, <coughs> for below the interventions, short and long sheath, uh, guide wires, uh, different from hydrophilic to uh, bare metal or uh, uh, from uh, soft to stiff, uh, different lengths, filters and other protection devices, exchange support catheters, dedicated balloons, cutting balloons, angioscalp balloons, stenting uh, uh, dedicated or self uh, or balloon expandable, and debulking um, materials like uh, directional rotational therapy, oscillo debulking system, uh, laser technique, thrombo aspiration, or and finally. Uh, drug routing stands and drug routing balloons. <coughs> so, uh, material selection in uh, below the angioplasty depends on chosen access site, lesion characteristics, and crossing strategy, acute result optimization, prevention of stenosis, and of course, it's very important cath lab capabilities. So, uh, usually, um, the uh, recanalization uh, the angioplasty is performed. Uh, taking an integrate access or crossover access. Uh, but uh, uh, when the uh, alternative access sites after failed integrate recanalization is transpopliteal, transpedal, or transtibial approach. As I told you, guide wires for below the knee, uh, there are a lot, and uh, uh, the uh, soft guide, wi guide wires, hydrophilic guide wires are uh, usually used in uh, tight stenosis and uh, difficult in uh, occlusions, in the uh, chronic occlusions, low occlusions, usually is used uh, most uh, stiffer guide wires, uh, hydrophilic sometimes. So balloons for below the knee, we have a lot of balloons dedicated for below the knee geoplasty that are characterized for, uh, for uh, low profile, uh, point, uh, zero 0.014 inch over the wire comp compatibility, uh, it's no need to change wire uh, with the shaft length uh, till 180 centimetre, with the balloon length till 200 to uh, 20 millimetre. Uh, no compliant uh, balloons useful for calcified lesions and tapered balloons, which is very important, designed for below the knee uh, angioplasty. Uh, here you see the length of balloon in very, uh, as you see, diffused diseased uh, le uh, lesions in below the knee arteries, especially in diabetic patients. Uh, here is a, um, an example of a tapered balloon and an angioplasty performed by means of collateral artery towards uh, the uh, posterior tibial artery. 
and you see the result before and after angioplasty. So below the knee balloon angioplasty, uh, a result for, uh, of meta-analysis from 1,232 limbs, the technical success rate, the average, is uh, 93%. Uh, primary patency rate at one year, uh, in average, is uh, nearly 80%, and at two years, uh, 74%. How to improve uh, angioplasty results in this uh, very complicated uh, uh, arterial district? We have a lot of debulking systems, as, as I told before, cutting balloons, angioscalp balloons. So I will uh, show only the potential value of complex lesions to, to avoid stenting with these kind of balloons. Uh, they are indicated in austere lesions, bifurcated lesions, very sclerotic calcified lesions, and in instant restenosis. Of course, we have limited data nowadays for below the angioplasties with these kind of balloons. Uh, no comparative uh, data or superiority versus uh, angioplasty alone. Silver Hawk atherectomy device is a very promised device. Uh, of course, we have as well, you see, a uh, few data, few studies, and uh, is usually uh, used in uh, the potential value of uh, this uh, um, uh, debulking system is to avoid stenting and uh, the potential role is in combination with drug diluting balloon of course we have few data comparing with uh, uh, angioplasty alone the examiner laser is a very good uh, debulking device and potentially good debulking in tbl vessels helpful to cross very sclerotic and calcific lesions using the 0.9 millimeter catheter uh, <clears throat> it's uh, important because uh, uh, to know that uh, laser is used as well in uh, thrombotic lesions because it's uh, practically uh, a rupture intermolecular connection and uh, uh, sometimes vaporizes uh, uh, thrombus formation and uh, of course uh, uh, is used as well as a debulking device so have two mechanisms in this case. Uh, stenting is indicated in residual stenosis of more than 50% after angioplasty, in flow-limiting dissection, abrupt vessel closure, <coughs> improve long-term uh, PTI results, uh, we'll see from, from uh, the next data. So uh, <coughs> one of the study, uh, important study, which is uh, practically uh, comparable with other uh, studies, is from, uh, um, uh, written by uh, Scheinert from Leipzig, uh, you see the um, stenting compared with uh, balloon angioplasty, the uh, procedural success uh, of restenosis, major clinical improvement, one year follow up primary patency is uh, much more higher, with the p value uh, statistically significant. But look, looking at the limb salvage, we have the same result. So the dedicated uh, below the knee stands, with chromative uh, stand. Uh, Dr. Chopa uh, from our center is uh, enrolled 80 patients uh, with a primary patency rate of six months, 72%, clinical improvement at six months, 81%, and limb salvage, 97%. If you see the other uh, studies uh, made by Scheinert from Leipzig, Boise, uh, uh, we have the limb salvage uh, nearly the same. <coughs> so, Stent improves acute result, doesn't affect limb salvage, but remains instant restenosis. We tried different uh, other uh, stents, like absorbable stents, and uh, most of them were uh, tested in uh, coronary arteries. In infrapropletial arteries, there are um, few data, and you see, for example, a uh, um, high rate of restenosis of uh, nearly uh, 70%, which is uh, comparable with the bare metal stand at six months follow-up. So another uh, study uh, made by Peters uh, showed with the absorbable stand showed uh, primary patency 73%, secondary 78%, and limb salvage at two years follow-up 94%. Improvement in below the knee angioplasty uh, to prevent restenosis is the drug eluting stand, the drug eluting balloon. So Features of the most common drug eluting stents used for treatment of uh, critical limb ischemia, published by Barco in General of Cardiovascular Surgery this year. The CA mark uh, uh, below the knee uh, indications and therapeutic good below the knee indications 
have only two uh, stands uh, with the Cyrolimus uh, drug and a Verolimus drug. So Cypher, which is not under production yet, but there are a lot of other stands with the same drug, and Science with a Verolimus eluting stand. <coughs> The most important randomized trials with drug eluting stents in the Lozani arteries is Yukon, Cerolimus coated stent versus bare metal stent, in Destiny, Science, Everolimus eluting stent versus bare metal stent, and Achilles, Cypher selected, uh, select Cerolimus uh, eluting stent versus uncoated balloon. What we have from the, um, uh, at the 12 months uh, follow up, the primary patency rate, as you see, is in favor of drug eluting stand in all studies uh, um, regarding uh, uh, comparing with bare, bare metal stand and uh, uh, uncoated balloon. The uh, negative uh, aspect of these uh, uh, studies that uh, um, if you uh, noticed uh, a lot of uh, uh, the most of studies are uh, made with drug eluting balloon. Uh, with uh, uh, coronary drug eluting, uh, drug eluting stents, but uh, coronary drug eluting stents. So the length of these stents is from 10 to uh, 38, so uh, mm, a treated vessel length was uh, 21.3 plus minus 15.2 uh, uh, <coughs> millimeters. But the majority of below the knee clinic, uh, critical limb ischemia cases have longer lesions more complex disease than patients included in below the knee stand studies. So, uh, <coughs> in uh, conclusion, we can say that uh, uh, better outcome with uh, uh, drug eluting stand we have versus bare metal stand, stenting of tibial art uh, arteries with serolium eluting stand uh, uh, clearly provides best patency rates and outcome for focal lesions. But for majority of lesions, they are too short, too expensive, Few data are available for long lesions and bifurcation disease. Drug eluting balloons, we have uh, uh, many single center trials, uh, studies, registries, and uh, few uh, randomized controlled uh, uh, multi center studies. Regarding drug eluting balloon technologies, uh, many companies you see, uh, do these balloons uh, using the same drug, different excipients, and coating technologies. The drug is uh, usually paclitaxel cell with uh, nearly the same dose, uh, three micrograms uh, per square millimeter per uh, uh, balloon, per surface of balloon, uh, with the different excipients. Let's see the most uh, studied st um, uh, drug-coated balloon is impact uh, balloon from Metronic. Advantages of uh, drug eluting balloon for below interventions is homogeneous drug transfer, Concentrations highest at uh, time of injury, absence of stent struts, struts, limited need for dual antiplatelet therapy, respect original anatomy and diminishes abnormal flow pattern, preserves follow-up treatment options, feasible in situations where uh, stents are undesirable, uh, for example, small vessels, instant stenosis, long or distal lesions. So from these two important studies, we have um, uh, one met uh, in Leipzig, uh, uh, made by Schmidt, and another one in Italy uh, by Listro. We have uh, um, uh, um, statistically very significant reduction in treatment with uh, drug eluting balloon comparing with uncoated balloon. For example, in debate below the uh, randomized controlled trial, uh, it was a very significant reduction at 12 months follow-up uh, um, uh, with angioplasty as drug routine balloon uh, in patients with clinical limb ischemia and, and diabetics. Uh, you see 27% versus 74% and in inclusion 70% versus 55%. So in conclusion I can say that drug routine stand balloons seems to be one of the potential solutions for below the knee restenosis. Restenosis treatment could improve wound healing time. High initial cost versus final economical benefits must be considered. But of course, more clinically relevant, longer term data are needed beyond proof of concept to validate the therapy value of each drug eluting balloon technology. 
Uh, angioplasty for critical limb ischemia is most of the cases the only option for limb salvage due to uh, high morbidity of, of uh, this kind of patients. Minimally invasive approach is mandatory in this very sick population in order to minimize complications. The association of anti-grade and retrograde techniques increase the success rate up to 90%. The choice of, of the right materials plays a key role in maximizing the success rate. So the new materials help to improve and further refine our minimally invasive techniques for difficult distal procedures. Thank you. Thank <clears throat> you.